nobody really knows how consciousness comes about or what it is even. When I say consciousness, I mean the subjective experience of the mind and of the world, what it feels like from the inside. I believe there's a brain in here. Neuroscientists study it. I know an awful lot about, about it. It's a physical thing that we can put electrodes in and understand. How can that produce this? Is there a science that explains who we are? How do I have subjective experience? We could say it's some mystical thing which comes from outside and we'll never understand according to science. That's not what we're saying. We're saying it's something we will understand according to science. We need to broaden the science we have at the moment a bit. But when I say a bit, it's probably a huge revolution. Unlike most scientific problems, I think the problem of consciousness needs to be tackled by engaging with one's own experience as well as doing the science. Some people say, okay, classical mechanics, classical mechanisms in physics can't give you consciousness. You know, just billiard balls hopping around the skull. How could all that dry, unconscious stuff add up to consciousness? So they say, okay, but quantum mechanics is different. In this view, there's a commonality in quantum physics, the universal mind in Buddhism, the common ground of consciousness in Hindu and Vedic beliefs, uh, cosmic intelligence in, in native uh, cultures, uh, Carl Jung's collective unconscious, the platonic realm, they're all embedded at the most fundamental level of the universe and processes in our brain connect us to that level. Mathematics exists in human consciousness and it's unreasonably effective. And mathematics has beauty, it has harmony, it has truth. That, those are platonic values, okay? It also shows me the, the, the inseparability of all that exists or the relationship of all that exists. So it is beauty and it's love, it's compassion. Consciousness itself, or the pure consciousness itself, uh, can be understood as the innermost essence of who we are. It's not an easy thing to understand, even though actually we are always experiencing it all the time, just not recognizing it. You can have the same person in the same environment, um, in some ways in the same state of consciousness, but having a fundamentally different way of perceiving reality. When you reach into that uh, pureness of your own consciousness, what happens is you lose your small ego and you find this huge existence, the whole existence. <laughs>